Yes, so it is a threat because like we had, if we can match what we have internet now to books, you could have a very similar situation. When we had the first printers and we started like this, doing mass impression of books, we also had the problem or situation that you could have only one person decided which books were going to be printed and then everyone was going to be reading that. And it's a very similar situation now. If you allow for a monopoly of information, everybody's going to be reading or accessing the same information. So it is a threat because you are going to be up to the will of the people who are defining the contents, or in the case of Google or Baidu, defining what you are going to be addressed or directing when you do a search. So the point of a threat, I think, is very difficult to argue. Now, the solution is much more complex, and that's why at this Internet Governance Forum, where a lot of people, hundreds of people, trying to define what are the approaches to solve that. Something that I think could be a solution is if we don't let uh, these organizations, private organizations, regulate themselves, as it happens in some of the ideas, or uh, you would consider like, as in banking, when you even go to the part of politics with the right and the left, with liberals and, and neoliberalism, and you would say, okay, markets and banks are going to regulate themselves, but then you need to have governments, like in the case of the 2008 crisis, helping the, the banks, helping these institutions that are actually supposed to be self-sustainable in a socialist way. Like you go to these public, public entities and you give them your money from the taxpayers so you save them. So self-regulation for these uh, kind of institutions will not work either. So it all has to come back to governments, the strong governments who are also independent and based on democratic principles and people. So something that I have been working on a lot in companies and also my wife has been working on related to education is how you can spread education that it's going to be able to regulate itself. So if you teach particularly a critical thinking, it's much easier for this regulation to come from the individual and not having to rely upon private entities or public entities.